They Brother sat there and they planned meticulously. They, with food. they found out what colors we respond to. They found out what foods that we eat. They found out which ones are more conducive for us to break down digestively and which ones aren't. Okay? So they know that the potato breaks us down. And they know that 75% of carcassoids can break a potato down better than a Nubian. They found out, oh, feed them all the white foods instead of the white rice. Pardon me, they said feed them the white rice, feed them the white potato, feed them the white sugar, feed them the white flour. You know what I'm saying? They said feed them all the white foods, right? But subtly, we never knew that white is not right. Now that sounds racist, but in actuality, instead of white rice, white potato, white sugar, white salt, white flour, we should be having amaranth flour, kamu flour. We should be having, I'm going to answer your question because this goes into it because the mind can't be right if the body isn't right. You understand what I'm saying? So when you allow your, oh, when you allow your oppressor to feed you your food, you are dealing with a major level of warfare. When, you're, when your oppressor is the one that supplies your food and your oppressor is the one that gives you your education, there's no way in hell we could come out and be free. In order for us to come out of it, again, we would rather want the black rice the black potato, the black salt, the red salt. You understand that's some examples, all right? But when your oppressor is responsible for the way you eat, he gives you a food pyramid, and he never built the pyramid in his life. But he gives you a food pyramid. You understand? And then you say, we gotta follow this. And if you saw the original food pyramid, there was bitter foods in there, because bitters correspond with B17, and B17 diffuses the potential of cancer cells, okay? But now you don't see no bitters in there. And all you see is nothing but mucus, that it comes as an end result of drinking milk, which is allowed to have over 750,000 somatic cells, a euphemism for pus, 24,000 live bacteria, and it's also pasteurized, a way in which they prolong the shelf life of a food through radiation. And if you get radiated foods, you're likely to get cancer and be susceptible to that and more. So we understand that in order for us to be free as a people, we gotta stop allowing people to dictate to us what is the right type of foods for us to eat? We have to be free of that. Secondly, in order for us to get out of the situation, we need only this, food, clothing, and shelter. We have something coming up called focusing. And part of the main acronyms for that is food, clothing, and shelter. All we need is to keep it simple. We don't have to live as high as the beast. We can get that with momentum and time. All we have to do is reframe from patronizing the beast.